What'd you say? Why, why are we joining vintage refrigerator groups on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen thirty-nine. Yeah. General Electric. That's pretty gross looking. Ew. <laughs> what happens when the wow. last guy left it sit outside? Yeah. Poor thing. You want to see the wires? That we got it from said that if you touch the fridge, that it would kind of shock you a little bit. And he's like, oh yeah, you probably just need to ground it to the floor or it needs a new wire. These are the wires that were under the insulation there. Fair wire. Fair wire. That was just kind of melting, starting to melt through the insulation. So, Bobby, open that up. Jeez. Said he's filming so if it shocks me, I'll get it on camera. <laughs> you see, it fires up before I put any more into it. It's all torn down. Okay. You ready? Making little noises. Do you think it has to like prime the the cold stuff? I probably will take it there. Oh. It's gurgling. <laughs> Lena, that's probably not a good place. She's not even worried. I don't know if the gurgling's normal. Sounds like it's just circulating some fluid. It just got quiet. I don't know if that's good or bad. What does what does Google say about the gurgle? See circulation of refrigerant. Thinking even worse than the fridge. It's actually really quiet. Okay, it's definitely getting cold. Is it? Yeah, put your hand in there. It's been a hundred all day. That would not be. Even the doors are warm. Even this is warm. That's cold. I wonder how cold it will get. Well, it's getting cold. <laughs> we aren't going to know because we pulled out all of the insulation. Right. That's so exciting. I'm going to touch it again. There's condensation. At least it's getting cold enough to get condensation on it. What'd you say? Why, why are we joining vintage refrigerator groups on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> because we're weird like that. Mm -hmm. Lena still likes us. Oh, Lena. And Lena has yep. no idea uh -huh. how to use a 82 year old bird. Heck yeah, she's a champ. I can't believe after all of these years, she can still keep it cold. Like really cold. That's awesome. We need some paint and insulation and wiring. Yeah. So now, now can we get the great stuff? Foam. Yeah, get a spray insulation because we pulled all that newspaper out and some paint. She'll be good as new for the the new edition. She'll go great in the top secret bigger purchase. Put all of her otter pops in there. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Spray foam going in. Up, it's trying. Oh. <laughs> no. Maybe we should have built a big gap filler. This isn't really uh Here we go, she wrote. Hmm. That didn't go very far at all. I mean it's it's really not full at all. It's like half the height. Okay, we are back at the fridge project and it's all in pieces. 
In I'm the over heat. there sanding. It's hot. It's like 100 degrees today. And Nick has been working on the light bulb. That's so cool. So what did you have to do? It was really neat. So this was the old socket and all the wiring was burnt clear up to it and we couldn't really reuse it. So I got a generic one that sort of looked like just that section. And then 3D printed the top part and it was crazy because when we pulled this out, we we're looking at the rating on it to get another one. Back in the day, it was made in USA and 660 watt, 250 volt rating. I think that's what the new one is. Yeah. Seems strange. Seems excessive for a light bulb, but look at all that light. That's awesome. I am so excited. Ready? Let's get to it. It's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Some body work done on the panels. Nick's doing some wiring. How's that going? I have no idea. <laughs> so he's put, installing a new cord because the old cord was really bad. And I think I'm going to try to cut it back because it's uh, really crumbly. And I don't know if I can really get to the other end to replace that whole section. Oh yeah? yeah. I need this to exit now so that we can actually ground this thing. Oh, here. oh that's really brittle. It kind of cracked the whole corner. Nice insulation. What you got? Thermo fiber. Yeah. Mineral wool. Right, it's the best stuff. We'll see. And some paint. We gave up on uh, the spray insulation. Now, the 4th of July, <laughs> it's still hot out, we are in the kitchen, yes. prepping a small piece of food. Mike, do you have the... Yeah. Mike, do you have some of that dust off? Doing these ones inside too. So. Okay, so today we're using Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. Um, it's very cheap, $17 a quart. And the reviews are all really good. So, 
And then we're going to be using the foam rollers. Let's see how it goes. Got the handle back on. Yeah. And Need it. now ready for the emblem. Now that the paint's all dry. Ish. Post dry. All right, so one quick little thing about the installation before we get this all buttoned up. We initially started with great stuff after seeing a video on YouTube on somebody else that did a fridge. Um, we started with the window and door filler, um, since that's what he recommended. It didn't expand too much to distort any of these surfaces. And it took so many cans. And then we switched to the big gap filler that did a lot better job. However, it still took a ton of cans and we only got halfway around the fridge on the back. So then we switched to rock wool. Um, so top half of the fridge, top of the fridge, and the entire door are filled with mineral wool by Thermofiber. We got this entire case for probably $30 and there were four of these big chunks and it didn't, we didn't even need all of it to do the fridge. So highly recommend the rock wool all the way around the fridge. Don't even mess around with the great stuff. It is so expensive and we could have just been done and over with it by buying one pack of rock wool to do the entire fridge. So hope that saves someone some time. Okay, we got everything all painted and pretty, and we are now ready to test. So I have our thermometer, an otter pop, and a water. You ready? Do it. Can we turn it like all the way cold? I don't know what all the way cold is. Anyone knows what that those mean? I mean defrost, defrost will obviously be like off. Off. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows, drop it in the comments. Hey, that is so awesome. Still need our door switch to show. Yeah. Up. Waiting on that. We're gonna try a aftermarket door switch since the the GE one is a little tired. So excited for the light in there. The best. It's getting colder. Is it? I can feel it. I hope so. I can feel it. Okay, so now we're gonna go have dinner and shut up the fridge and hopefully it stays cold. We'll see what happens. Okay, we just walked to the store. 
And we left 30 minutes ago and it was at 80. And now we're down to 55-ish. Yeah. We gotta go get some Cora's lights to put in there to make see if the mountains stay blue. That's the important part. Yeah. Yeah. Need cold snacks. <laughs> okay, two hours later. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, it's fridge cold. Geez, that's really cold. That's really cold. It's like 32 out here. Oh my gosh. In like 20. In two hours, we are at 32 degrees. That's fridge. Look at those mountains. Heck yeah. And in the freezer, we're around 28, so it's staying a little cooler. I think having a freezer door might help. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Otter Pop is a frozen Otter Pop. It's it like went, a slushy. It went back to frozen. It yeah. was more melted. That's amazing. That's so cool. we're gonna have blue mountains and Otter Pops. I'm pretty sure that's colder than the fridge in the house. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is sitting outside. Cheers. Cheers. So, cheers. Okay, so fridge is done. Took no. us two weekends. Yep. Awesome little $50 project that was a lot more than $50, but. And now we know it works and it's all clean. And, and it, it's gonna keep beer. Stored. Beer's cold. Mm -hmm. And Otter Pop's cold. Mm -hmm. Where are we gonna put it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, so this purchase, this project, we bought with the intentions of putting in our next new thing project. Mm -hmm. So hang tight to see that. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be big. It's exciting. <laughs> hmm.